Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is a uh, continuation of our job, job costing uh, 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 video tutorials. Uh, we have already done a few. So on this one, we're just going to uh, briefly review uh, videos we've done so far. So we're going to review our preferences, uh, setup of chart of accounts, item list for services, and item list list for payroll so those are the ones we have uh, uh, done for job costing so the first one was chart of accounting chart of accounts sorry an item list and uh, preferences uh, set up for job costs and item tracking for uh, payroll paycheck expenses and then uh, uh, setting up a payroll item list and uh, class tracking so this video I'm just going to review all those uh, done so far. So I'm going to go to uh, our sample file here and uh, so I'm just going to start with the uh, chart of accounts okay in chart of accounts we have set up uh, job related cost uh, you know you want to set up job related cost you can set up material cost uh, you know, uh, subcontract cost, whatever uh, job related costs you have, you want to s set up as direct cost, as cost of goods sold. Uh, and uh, uh, you don't want to make this uh, uh, job related cost uh, too lengthy, too big. You just want to focus on uh, uh, big ticket items, you know, like material costs. You're always going to have that. You're always going to have labor costs if you're doing job costing, and the rest would be uh, sort of a, a minor cost, but you just want to you still want to track it, and you may have a huge subcontract cost, independent contractors, so you may want to track that separately. Okay, so that's for the uh, uh, and the rest it goes to indirect cost for the payroll side. Uh, you know you want to track it as uh, uh, overhead type. Uh, and uh, so you want to you may want to check out uh, uh, the first video we did. It's a lengthy one, so you learned a lot. Uh, uh, but this one is going to go through just overview. Uh, and the second one is the item list. So these are the level of efforts uh, you are creating, and uh, it, it it's gonna it's gonna vary from. Uh, uh, business to business industry to industry so the basic focus is uh, to create an item list it's like a level of effort uh, you want for that job to be done okay uh, so you want to check out the video on that one too and then so we went to the setup in here in order to do job costing you got to do uh, one or two uh, preference settings in here set up uh, so accounting wise, company preferences, you want to track class. So make sure to check these two boxes and then come back in here and a, uh, uh, in here. Okay, so job and estimates, you want to make sure it, it's all on. And then uh, on the payroll and employees, employees one. So this is the one, it's kind of an important one. You, you, you got to have a payroll uh, QuickBooks payroll to uh, hook it up with this uh, uh, items you know uh, if you want real job costing you got to have a QuickBooks payroll you can have uh, outside payroll but it's better to have a, a QuickBooks payroll uh, sync with uh, your uh, QuickBooks uh, on desktop okay on this one is basically you, you got you got to select this uh, uh, so you got to select full payroll or no payroll or online pay whatever but uh, uh, I prefer full, full payroll uh, and I, by the way I'm using the uh, QuickBooks Premier Edition for this uh, uh, task and that's the one that's recommended and so make sure to check this box job costing class track class and item tracking for all the payroll expenses and you're going to check entire paycheck or earnings item uh, this one example is the entire paycheck, so you can check the video on this one too. And the and the other one is then basically is the then you once you set up the uh, 
uh, once you have the payroll uh, added, payroll services in here, you know, act activated uh, everything, uh, then you can create an item, an item list for the payroll. So it looks like this. You basically set up uh, one for the uh, hourly wages type, working on a uh, specific item. You can name any way you want it. Uh, so you will track item uh, name. This item name is different than the item name you have for services. This is strictly for payroll. So it's basically uh, uh, think of this as a labor distribution uh, by uh, item. So it will show direct as well as indirect uh, payroll distribution. So it will have uh, taxes and deduction and addition and everything. So we want to check out the video on that one. Uh, and the last one is uh, the class list. So this is the one you need to focus on. Uh, how do you want to set up this uh, before you start job costing? So, you know, if you're in construction business, it's like, a, uh, it's a, you know, uh, commercial or a government contracts or, uh, you know, uh, residential and shopping, uh, shopping properties. So you got to figure out uh, how to set up this one. It's just not limited, not, not limited to job cost. It's not just limited to construction business. It could be for any type of business, uh, sports events, the catering business, you know, uh, you're making some products, uh, you know, uh, getting contracts, government contracts, commercial contracts, could be for anything. So you got to come up with a way to, uh, you know, so uh, class, normally you will have like a, uh, one or two profit centers for class. Uh, you know, you will have one project manager and project manager you want to track uh, that by class. And maybe the job is, you know, the bonus is based on certain uh, uh, job performance. So you want to track a profit center one, profit center two, like that. And then you'll have overhead pool, which one could be, you can, you want, can be allocated and the other one could be the management cost, which you may not want to uh, allocate. So it depends how you want to set up you, but you have to think think this through, and then you just set it up. Okay, so that's the that's all for this video. So the next video I'm going to focus on is setting up uh, your customers and jobs. Setting up your customers and jobs. The moment you have a customer, you add customer. And once you have customer and you have a job, then you set up job. So you're gonna, you may want to uh, watch that video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. So uh, right now we have about 3,500 subscribers, and we're we're trying to get about 10,000 in in a month or so. So please help us subscribe to our YouTube channels, uh, youtubecom forward slash VP Controller. And uh, uh, if you are into QuickBooks Online, you can also subscribe to our uh, uh, YouTube channel. It's new QBO. So youtube.com forward slash new QBO. Thank you. Bye.